What's up guys and gals here at Garden State Comic Festival with your old pal Goliath. I'm here with another interview, but this one, it's unique. It's not a director. It's not an illustrator. It's not an animator as far as I know. She is adorable though. We are here with a young lady who not only is in cosplay, likes to cosplay, she runs NazumiCon. And we are trying here to get more, pick her brain and learn more about NazumiCon and why. Is she at another con? Are you? Is she here to steal people? Is she here to grow? Is she here to kidnap the entire con? No, I'm just kidding. Please don't take that seriously. But thank you so much for joining us. I am here with... Lacey Von Voorhees. Does Jason know you're here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, tell us more about Nazumi Con. How did you get your own con started? Like, what brought that in? Like, what made you sit there and go one day, I want a convention that's mine? Um, so I guess I never really thought about it too much. I was at another convention vending, and uh, the idea just kind of popped into my head. And uh, somehow I pulled it together in about six months. I'm really surprised that I did, but I definitely want to keep growing and keep expanding and see where I can take NizumiCon. That's very impressive, very impressive indeed. And like, what venues have you used thus far? Because this is, uh, what, first, second year, I think? First year. First year. Where do you think you see yourself? Do you want to try to get somewhere like... The Garden State Comic Festival, maybe an arena, a rink, um, convention center. Where are you trying to aim? I mean, the convention center would be awesome. Uh, just taking baby steps at a time. So this year, Nizumi uh, Khan was at a historic railroad station. So a very unique venue for a convention. But I think next year we're just going to move to uh, like a music venue or just something that is indoors. That way vendors aren't outside. Uh, last uh, this year was pretty good it wasn't too hot wasn't too cold but if it rains if it you know flash floods you know snowstorm middle summer you know Tornado. Wind. you know you never know <laughs> Tsunami. galactus comes down which we all probably actually like maybe possibly <laughs> so um, how big is your con right now like how many uh, vendors do you guys have as of right now and how versus like are you aiming for above 100 below 50 like what's your average you think you want to aim at for next year so to show like convention centers like this is legitimate this is serious like what are you aiming at so this past Nizumi con we had about 40 vendors and attendees we had around 250 um, so I think next goal would be to maybe get to 60 vendors and just kind of double our attendees just from there. <laughs> Remember guys, new con, which means new stuff, new artists, new buttons, new cool stuff, and also if you collect, new badges. Because that seems to be the new thing. Everyone's collecting con badges and con, con pins. Yeah. Like, that's the new big thing. So actually, that is a goal. So this past year, we just did wristbands like this. But for next year, I would love to have some sort of badge or something more than just this. That way people have like a little reminder, a little keepsake. And buttons and badges, they're some of the easiest things you can literally track down or make or, for some people, sell on eBay. <laughs> so, what made you, um, I know you're in like spider guys, kind of like a Spider-Man relaxed vibe today, so what is like, what drew you into cosplay? What drew you into having fun and, you know, conning and tabling and all that stuff? So growing up, I was always a big anime nerd, still am, and uh, all through high school, I had seen like pictures online of conventions and stuff like that, but I had no clue like this whole cosplay world even existed. No clue. It wasn't until I graduated high school, and uh, maybe like a year after graduating, that was my first convention, I went to New York City Comic Con, which is a huge convention to go to for your first one. Better known as Linacon. So someone there was like, you should really check out some smaller homier cons. Like I think if you like this, you'd really enjoy that. And uh, next I went to KatsuCon and then from there I just got hooked. I just started going to convention after convention and cosplaying more characters and here I am with my own convention. So <laughs> the awesomeness of that, like no, he's like, I went to cons, got some tables, did some venueing, now it's my con. He's like, I love I love her eagerness. He's like, this is mine. I love it. It's beautiful. So for anyone out there that, like, you know, maybe they're trying to get a con or maybe trying to do, for instance, we, our, our goal, we have some goals in mind down the road where we want to get a con or, you know, scavenger hunts and, you know, X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Anything you can tell people that are trying to get a con, go to a con, build a con, uh, that could be a con. Build a con. Welcome. <laughs> how, to, how to learn how to build a con. Welcome. <laughs> so anything you could tell our followers, subscribers, and, you know, what they can look forward to and some tips maybe you went through that maybe they can be like, okay, she told me what I knew so I don't make those mistakes again. 
absolutely. So um, I would say for con planning, social media is your best friend. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without social media. Um, it's great to kind of just put your word out there and kind of gain a small following. Even if it is small, from there, you know, start small, baby steps. You know, don't feel discouraged because you don't have tons of thousands of followers. Maybe you have 100, but those 100 people are there supporting you, and that means so much. Exactly it, guys. Remember, sometimes you have to start small to make it big. There's the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids, the Sphinx, the Tanzania Hall, you know, all those places. They didn't just magically happen. Comic-Con, I'm pretty sure it didn't just, boom, come into existence. They started out maybe somewhere even smaller than this con, even smaller than IzumiCon. So remember, guys, it takes time. It takes effort, but don't give up. She's got a con now, literally. And you started only a year ago. Well, I'm pretty sure the planning went, maybe it was uh, two years ago for planning. No, I mean, I planned NizumiCon within six months. Uh, no previous experience in running a convention. I just sort of thought about what I loved at cons and what I didn't like. So I say go to conventions, see what you love from going to those conventions, take those things and make it your own. So there is some stealing involved. No, not really stealing, but just... <laughs> she said take, no. <laughs> Inspired. Inspired. Yeah, that's a good word. Good word. <laughs> But I want to thank you so much. So like you said, guys, give it a shot. Come to cons. Learn what you like. Learn what you don't like. Maybe you'll see something you enjoy and other cosplayers do. But give it a shot. Check out NizumiCon. We're going to be there. Hopefully, maybe we'll get involved. Who knows what happens? We'll awesome. But thank you so much. Thank you for meeting us here. Guys, we'll talk to you later. Remember, NizumiCon, the information's in the box below. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys later.